Good morning, Metaverse. I'm Thor with the Red Hand, and this episode is actually going to be about the farm that I purchased this last August and have been working on, uh, and was the main reason that I hadn't been posting any videos in January, February, and March, <laughs> really. And so just uh, some people in the comments had said they, they wanted to hear a little bit more about that, and I will give you a tour of the farm and show you some of the animals that we have here. And uh, it, this video was actually postponed uh, a little bit because when I sat down to do the editing and posted it onto YouTube, uh, there were two baby goats that were born. And <laughs> you never know when that stuff's gonna happen. Uh, so uh, if uh, you wanna stay until the end of the video, you'll be able to see the magic of life and see two different goats uh, born right in front of you and uh, uh, that's kind of the excitement that we get on a daily basis so uh, let's uh, let's get started so this is from the very highest vantage point on the property uh, the property itself is about hundred and twenty eight acres a little bit less than that and this is a pretty good view of the entire property it's rolling hills so you can't see some of it on the other side but on the far side of that street that goes right through the middle um, is 70 acres and on uh, the, the side close to us from the street is about uh, 50 58 uh, acres and so I'll, I'll just uh, go through the, the audio was uh, a little bit spotty with some wind so I'll jump in when I need to um, otherwise uh, enjoy from here you get a pretty good perspective all of this all the way down to that house across that road and then back up this hill that we just looked at coming straight back over gives you a good idea and then this is the this is our our pole barn our green barn we've got the main house our garage our chicken barn and the stable and all these uh, all, all these buildings were pre-existing when we purchased the property but the place had been vacant for about six years uh, so we have done a major renovation in all of those and then everything over this ridge to those trees which it goes down the ridge and then you follow that there's a creek that's Jim's house everything on close to us from here down to the road and then up this ridge to the tree line and then follow this um, fence along this tree line that's all our property here we are looking from now using this vantage point as sort of our base that we'll go back to uh, we're gonna go over it and see uh, where the pigs are and this is actually where uh, Pigu the space pig is and these are little uh, pig pens that I put together to house the pigs and they are uh, uh, pasture pigs and so they like eating grass and that type of thing and then we supplement them actually uh, we have an egg farm and so they get a bunch of extra eggs for protein and um, it to supplement their diet so it's great for them and they're actually I'm using them to help till and prepare the land uh, for that whole field is going to be turned into sunflowers. Um, and so pigs are normally a real destructive animal, but I'm using that to our benefit. And then here are some of the piglets that we have, uh, raising them from a couple days old. Uh, and we've had a few born. That one is Bjorn. That one's uh, uh, Rosie. And this one is Bella. And that one is uh, Caitlin. My son named all of them. We have we have a fun time with that and you can see i just move those pins in a straight line and they till and prep the the area as they go now that's pig dini i've had to chase him a handful of times and then these two guys are ham and bacon and then let's go back up to the the ridge that's where we were at bam double tap and then this spot is a special spot because it's a natural spring so we're gonna double tap and go over there and show you from the, the natural spring that's on the property. And so we have a, a creek that runs through the middle right there. 
and then this natural spring and we have two wells on the property so as far as a as far as a homesteader is concerned uh we you have water uh things are going to be good so we're going to go over and check out the goats double tap and the goats and the chickens so we have goats to clear the land there's a lot of rose bushes blackberries um and thorny um, uh, brambles that they are really good at getting into and clearing and clearing out a pasture. And then the chickens go into that pasture because they're pasture rage, raised heritage breed chickens, so really old genetics. Um, and so uh, just under a thousand chickens and we get roughly 400 um, eggs a day and that's going to ramp up as, as the season gets warmer. And we're going to increase our chickens to about 3,000 chickens. Um, and so it's going to be a, a reasonable size operation. And that's the area that we're moving them to. Uh, they had wintered in the barn. You could see the, the ground's pretty barren. We're moving them out to nice open pasture and have that uh, chicken, uh, chicken coop uh, further out in the fields. And then next we're going to go over to our house and double tap. And that's the chicken barn that they were in all winter. This is our main house. This is where I eat breakfast and then pass out at the end of the day. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice house. It was built in 1775, a uh, year before America. And that's our big garage. And that is, that's my office. That's where I am right now, filming videos and uh, playing Star Atlas. So... Uh, then this is the, these are the goats that this one just got born and, uh, my son ran out into the field and, um, I'm going to switch back to, to that audio. Just in case, uh, mommy is a little bit of a hop up on the chair. Okay. And so oh, yeah. Bane Good was job. able to see Good this one baby. born. He ran out. Good job. Good daddy, job. daddy, there's goats being born. Oh, darn. So we ran back. Look at that. What's that red ball? And here we are. Hey, what's that ball? That is as cute as can be. Already getting their legs under them. It's amazing. Minutes old. Hi, little guy. Or a girl? Not sure yet. They ended up being uh, two girls. And we have the goats for milking, uh, goat milk as well. And just as I stopped recording, another one popped out. To say hi to the world. I was standing right there. I turned around and boop, another one, another one popped out. That one just came out while we were standing here. Yeah. Good job, Mama. Clean her off. Good job. I know. I was like sitting here and I heard something. The baby flopped out. So this is the kind of kind of stuff we have going on <laughs> out at the farm. That's my wife. Life is messy and she doesn't yeah, I, care. I, she I'm gets right in there. Mama's been, been looking at her pretty good. She's a good woman. There ended up being just two. So, two is pretty common for goats. Right out its butt. Very cool. <laughs> my, my son has seen more of life than, than I ever did at that age. <laughs> Great education. <laughs> so hopefully that was an enjoyable little video for you. A little change up from space action to uh, farm life. Uh, I'm actually probably going to start another YouTube channel. And I'll leave links on that in the description. Um, when I set that up on, on my videos, uh, but I'll keep this as, as really more of a, a Star Atlas metaverse uh, type channel, but start that one up for anybody that's interested. Go ahead and check it out and I'll, I'll post anything that's uh, fun that happens uh, in, in, at our farm. And uh, so don't worry about liking or subscribing, but uh, if you can find somebody that, that would find this interesting, go ahead and share it with them. Uh, and today was the uh, town hall, and I'm excited to make the next video on the uh, going over the town hall. A lot of big updates, some really cool news that we can talk about uh, in our next episode. And uh, if you can do that, then today was a good day. Good morning, Metaverse.